In July 2025, astronomers confirmed the arrival of 3I Atlas, the third known interstellar object to pass through our solar system. Spotted by the Atlas survey and later identified in earlier images from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, it's traveling at over 130,000 miles per hour on a one-way path from deep space. Early observations show it's an active comet, likely older than our solar system, and scientists are working quickly to study it before it disappears from view. From the chance early images, to the feasibility of chasing it down, to debates over its nature, and the sharpest views yet from Hubble, this is the current story of it. Keep watching this video to learn more about this topic. The discovery came on July 1, 2025, when the NASA-funded Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, ATLAS, in Chile spotted a faint, fast-moving object. Its orbit was hyperbolic, the unmistakable signature of something not bound to the Sun. Within 24 hours, follow-up data confirmed it as interstellar, adding a third entry to the very short list of known visitors from beyond our solar system. Early estimates placed its nucleus somewhere between 320 meters and 5.6 kilometers in diameter. Soon after, the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii captured a series of filtered images that, when combined into a time-lapse, showed the comet's motion as streaks of color. The cosmic rainbow effect came from sequential exposures through different wavelength filters. By July 21st, the Hubble Space Telescope had provided sharper views. These revealed a bright coma surrounding the nucleus and a dust plume extending from the sun-facing side. The nucleus itself remained hidden, but the brightness distribution allowed astronomers to place limits on its size. Even at 3.8 astronomical units from the sun, beyond Mars's orbit, 3I Atlas was already showing cometary activity. Ultraviolet observations from NASA's Swift Observatory detected OH emissions, confirming water ice sublimation at this relatively large distance. Archived test space telescope images revealed similar activity months earlier, when the comet was more than 6 AU away. Such early activity suggests that 3I Atlas contains highly volatile ices, capable of vaporizing under weak solar heating. This makes it a valuable subject for studying how interstellar comets behave under different thermal conditions and how their volatile inventory compares with that of comets formed in our solar system. Atlas presents a rare chance to examine an object formed around another star. Its age is estimated to be billions of years older than the Sun, meaning it may preserve material from the early days of the Milky Way. Its likely origin is the galaxy's thick disk, a region known for older, lower metallicity stars. Compositional clues, including water vapor, dust, and possible organic-rich material, indicate that at least some building blocks of comets may be similar across different planetary systems. Comparing its makeup with that of solar system comets could reveal whether planetary formation processes are universal or strongly shaped by local conditions. The detection of activity so far from the Sun provides insight into which ices are present and how easily they sublimate. The dust plume observed by Hubble also offers a way to estimate dust-to-gas ratios, important for modeling cometary evolution. A small part of the conversation has ventured into speculation. A paper led by Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb considered, as a thought experiment, whether 3I Atlas could be artificial. While the idea gained media attention, most experts point to its consistent comet-like activity dust composition, and behavior as clear signs of a natural origin. Even Loeb acknowledged that the most likely explanation is a natural interstellar comet. Beyond theory, there is interest in exploring it up close. One proposal suggested redirecting NASA's Juno spacecraft for a potential flyby in 2026 when the comet passes near Jupiter. While technically challenging and unlikely on current timelines, the idea reflects the scientific value placed on obtaining in situ data from such rare objects. Atlas will reach perihelion, 
its closest point to the sun, in late October 2025, at about 1.4 Askew Americans. This is when its activity is expected to peak, driven by increased solar heating. Unfortunately, during October and November, the comet will be on the far side of the sun from Earth, making it unobservable from the ground. In mid-December, it will emerge from solar conjunction and make its closest approach to Earth at about 1.6 Askumericans. While still too faint for the naked eye, it should be within reach of amateur astronomers using medium-sized telescopes or high-powered binoculars. Observations will continue across a range of instruments. The James Webb Space Telescope could analyze its infrared spectrum to identify organics, ices, and minerals. Large ground-based observatories will monitor changes in brightness, color, and coma structure to track how its activity evolves after perihelion. One focus will be comparing its dust-to-gas ratio and isotopic compositions to those of solar system comets. Detecting significant differences would support the idea that 3I Atlas formed in a markedly different environment. Similarities could point to shared processes across planetary systems. After early 2026, the comet will fade rapidly as it heads back into deep space. Its outbound path will carry it permanently beyond the sun's influence, possibly passing near other stars over millions of years. The data collected during its brief visit will remain valuable for decades, offering a rare look at material shaped far from our solar system. Atlas offers a rare chance to study material from another planetary system. With imaging from Rubin, Hubble, and other observations, astronomers will know more about it than any previous interstellar visitor. Whether natural or unusual, it shows our solar system is regularly visited from afar. Keep watching to see how we might spot, and even reach, these cosmic travelers.